Is your pig starving? I sure hope not. But if you're like the majority of people around the world, chances are, the answer might be, yeah, it's getting squeezed pretty good. So today I am here to give you a couple of scenarios out how to get your pig in a little bit better shape. And one of the ways that you can do that this year in 2024 is to join our pig group, which is called Passive Income Generators. Membership is currently open and you can join us for $125 a year is the membership. And then the minimum to participate in any of our platforms that we're, we're doing to help folks teach them how to build wealth is $100. So you can get in very inexpensively and learn how to make your money grow and how to build wealth uh, along with a lot of other things such as learning how to become a philanthropist on a limited budget. So anyways, today I want to talk to you a little bit about compounding. And I know you've probably all heard that uh, compound interest is one of the wonderful wonders of the world. But I want to show you something in real time to kind of let you wrap your mind around uh, some of the things that I have been teaching. So I'm going to share my screen right quick. And I want to take you to this uh, compound calculator that I'm used to using. You can use whatever one that you want. But this one that I use is from the, uh, the calculator site.com. And the reason that I use this one is because it gives me a lot of different compound uh, periods that a lot of the calculators that you might get off of Google, you, you can't get. So I can compound daily, weekly monthly, quarterly, you name it, I can do this. So I just want to show you something. It's only going to take a couple of minutes, but I want to show you the difference and why it's important that you understand compounding periods. And so we're going to start out with just $100, okay? $100 initial investment at 10% a month for 12 months. And we're going to look at that first. No withdrawals. And we're going to look and see what that ends up being at the end of 12 months. Okay. The first month, you're going to get 10. This is if you withdraw zero. Okay. And you just let your money compound month after month after month. And you are getting paid 10% per month. At the end of the year, you would have $313.84. So your $100 would grow to $313.84. Okay, write that down, $313.84. Now, let's think in terms of, well, I'm putting this money away, but I would like to withdraw a little bit of this. I would like to have a little fun and have this as a stream of income. Okay, let's see what would happen. Let's see what happens if we withdraw $10 a month. That would be the equivalent of 10% a month. 100 times 10% would be $10 a month. Okay, let's go down and look at the bottom. If we withdrew $10 a month, which basically is all the amount that we're earning, at the end of the 12 months, we should expect to have $100 in the account because we have withdrawn all the earnings at $10 a month. But now something interesting happens when you listen to what Nancy says and she says, hey, why not instead of withdrawing your $10 every month, why not wait and withdraw $30 every 90 days? So only withdraw the money quarterly. 
Well, that doesn't make any sense. So what? It's still the same amount of money. $10 a month or 10 times three is $30. What does it matter, Nancy? Let me show you what it matters. Okay, we'll go over here and I type in $30, but I'm going to do it quarterly. And then I'm going to click the calculate button. Let's see what happens here. If I withdraw $30 every three months, at the end of the year, I no longer have $100 left over, but I actually have 20 more than I started with, 20 more and three cents. So if instead you put it off your withdrawal quarterly, you're actually growing your money while still pulling out the same amount each month on average. Let's take it a step further. Instead of quarterly, how about you only pull it out every six months? Now, it's the same amount of money, $10 a month. So that would be $60 that you're going to pull out. But you're only going to do that every six months. Let's see what happens. Voila. Now you have $147.55 left over at the end of the year. So remember when you took it out quarterly, you had about $120. So you started with a hundred, you took out $10 a month, which basically is $120 a year. You took out 120. So you took out more than what you put in. And at the end of the year, you had 120 left over. Well, doing this every six months, you have $147.55 left over. So you increased your balance. You grew your money even more. So now let's say, ah, well, if that happened, I wonder what would happen if I waited till the end of the year and I just took out my $120 at the end of the year. Let's see what would happen. At the end of the year, one ninety three eighty four. One ninety three eighty four. So if you took if you took it out ten dollars a month, you would have a hundred leftover balance, which basically is what you started with. If you did it quarterly, you would have a hundred and twenty dollars left over at the end of the year. If you did it every six months, it was 147.55 and it just keeps going up. So are you seeing a pattern here? So not only does it matter the compounding period, how you get paid, and I'm gonna do another video on this a little bit later on, it matters whether your money is compounding daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, annually. That matters because your money grows at a faster rate when it's being compounded more often. But as you can see in today's demonstration, it also matters when you pull your money out because the longer you allow it to compound, you're, you know, you're putting your money to work, you're dressing them up in overalls, you're making them work so hard for your money that one day you no longer have to work hard for your money. So on this today, like I said, I just wanted to kind of share with you what would happen with a $100 bill that you put in and you expected to get 10% a month. And that's what you wanted to pull out was 10% a month just by changing when you pull that money out can make a big difference on your bottom line. So again, this is Nancy Gaskin, sowing seeds of financial hope and entrepreneurial opportunity in communities around the globe. Our membership is now open for our passive income generators. If you would like to learn how to build wealth and put your family on a better uh, financial path in 2024, please contact me and we'll get you started right away. 
Y'all have a fabulous week.